Hi everybody, my name is Dave Hampton. I'm a student at the Harvard Graduate School of Design in the Master of Design Studies Risk and Resilience program. Today I'm going to be showing you how to help with the Nepal earthquake relief effort by using the OSM Task Manager. To get started, go to nepalquakeaid.com, a website that was created by colleagues. Go to the OSM Mapping tab, and at the top in the black bar, click on the Please Join the Mapping project. This will take you directly to the OSM Tasking Manager. This is what it looks like. If you've been here before, great, you can get started. First, you'll need to log in to OpenStreetMap. If you've ever used OSM, go ahead and log in now. If you don't have an account, you'll need to register. So enter your email address. Today, I'm an eager mapper. So if you wait a moment, you'll actually get a confirmation email. There it is from OpenStreetMap. You'll click the link. And you're ready to start mapping. Now at this point you see your username in the top right. You're on OpenStreetMaps, but you need to get back to the mapping. So the best thing I find to do is to go back to your mapping project tab and come in again. You'll log into OpenStreetMap. You'll authorize access to your account. Again in the top right you'll see your username. Save changes and you're off to the races. When you get into the task manager, the first thing you should do is look at the instructions. In this case, if you read through, you'll note that the, one of the things that needs to be done is please don't forget to add source equals next view in the data tags. Just copy that. But what you'll want to do is continue to refer to the instructions tab as you contribute. So start contributing, and you can click a location by zooming in on the map, and you'll notice that there are green squares, orange or yellow squares, and gray squares. In some cases, things will be invalidated. But these squares that I'm mousing over right now are ones that have not been completed. Ones that have been completed are yellow or done. Ones that have been validify, ver validated excuse me, by the OpenStreetMaps team are marked in green. So pick a location or what I like to do is say, take a task at random. So we've just taken a task at random and we want to start mapping. You see it on the screen and in order to start mapping, you lock the task so that you tell others that you're working on it. What I find personally easiest to do is to edit with the ID editor. So click the pull down, go to ID editor, and it will open a separate tab. In the upper left corner, sometimes if you're just starting out, you'll see take me through a walkthrough, or you can just get started mapping. Since I'm here with you, I'll get you started. So you see there are some things already mapped. As you mouse over them, you'll see a residential building, a residential road, something marked land use, here's a school. Or it's supposed to be a school. Well, as you zoom in, you'll see some buildings that haven't been mapped yet. We're going to pick this building right alongside the road. 
If you can, try to mark individual buildings, not just a block of buildings. You don't have to get super detailed, but it does help. Double-click a corner to close the polygon, and in the left, under Select Feature Type, you'll select Building. We're not sure whether it's a house, commercial building, residential building. We just know it's a building for now, so we'll call it a building. Don't forget your instructions. So remember, we had to add source equals next view in the data tags. What that's asking for is the source of the background imagery. In some cases, you'll be asked to select Bing aerial imagery. In this one, the instructions didn't say. So under tags, we're going to add source and type next view as instructed. Just pay attention to those instructions. So once you're done with the attributes, to close it, click on the X, and when you mouse over next, you'll see that it's a building. When you get to a good stopping point, hit save, hit save again, and then when you go back to your first tab under your contribution, you will mark this task as done. It'll turn yellow, and then your work at some point will be validated by the OpenStreetMaps team. That's pretty much it. If you want to get a little bit more advanced, just go to tasks.hotosm.org and see what the overall tasks are. Here's, here's another one. It's updated. So you can click on that. And your instructions are a little bit more detailed. As I was saying, in this case, your source is going to be Bing imagery. There are also other instructions on tagging guides. Look out for pedestrian suspension bridges. In this case, buildings. Trace all individual buildings and tag it as building equals yes. Let's give this a shot too. Let's take a task at random. Start mapping. Edit with ID Editor. It opens up another tag tab. Let's close the old one. And we're looking at a very rural location in this case. We see some buildings that are marked and an unclassified road. So as I said, following the instructions, source Bing imagery, go to your background settings and make sure Bing aerial imagery is set. Back to the instructions, you're looking for suspension bridges, residential settlement areas, waterways, and remember the buildings, tag building is yes. So if I'm going to select a building, I need to make sure that's tagged properly. Let's go in again. Here's a building. Try your shortcut. As you mouse over each one of these, you'll see a shortcut is three, and that, that'll help speed up the mapping. So here's a building. We're going to call it a building. Under tags, it automatically says building, yes. But let's not forget our source. Our source is Bing. So select Bing. You're done. Close that one. And again, you're going to save. Save. Uploading the changes to OpenStreetMap and you just edited OpenStreetMap. When you go back to your task, under your contribution, you can mark your task as done, and you're done for now. Hopefully that's helped. If you have any questions 
or comments, go to nepalquakeaid.com and get in touch with us. Thank you so much.